Hey everybody, how's your day going? So today I came on live because there was a situation that came up the other day that was super fascinating to me. My dog keeps pushing. Just relax. And I'm going to see my dog. I got a little Yorkie. Roxy, say hi. Say hi. Look. Look. Anyways, okay, so today I came on live because I wanted to share with you all something. So, um, in learning your passions and figuring out your purpose in life and your, like, your sole purpose of why you're here and what you're good at, and um, I believe everybody was born with certain traits and certain characteristics to fulfill your sole purpose on this earth, and it, nobody's is alike because nobody's the same. So... This was a super interesting situation, and I thought I would share. Maybe this could help you all. So I was doing a session the other day. Um, I actually do them in my house. And we were there, and the girl, uh, we had gotten, we probably had gotten like 10, 10 different passions written down from what I take people through the process. And, um, hi, Emily. Hi. Is it Aileen? Or maybe Alan? Aileen? I don't want to say it wrong. Um, so she... Okay, so we had gotten like 10 different things that made her feel alive. And I had taken her through this like two... It's about an hour and a half. Uh, sometimes it could be two hours. The other day I had one that was two, two hours and like 30 minutes. It just depends on the person. But... So the other day I did one, and the lady, uh, one of her passions was, well, she had written down hair, and she loved hair. Like, she's a, um, she went to school for hair, and she, like, loved doing it, but she stopped doing it, and she's like, it stopped being a passion of mine. So we got into, like, in-depth with that, and, like, why did you stop doing it? Why, like, why did you not love it? Okay, and we got to, she absolutely loves hair, um, but she wasn't giving herself permission to say no when she needed to, to certain people and take on certain clients and say no to others. So she needed to like figure out her boundaries with it. And so we got even more deep with it. And I was like, well, what is it? Why can't you say no? Um, like I specifically work with sole purposes and I also help people with their love languages and their marriages and like that's a niche that's like what I'm actually really good at and but I was like and so those are the things that I like love to do but it so why can't you say no to certain things and she was like I don't know like I just don't I don't know how people would handle that so it came down to she loves hair but she hated um trims especially boy trims and she hated upkeep so like say so for example she actually dyed mine blonde but I don't um keep mine up to my roots I like the regrow like I like it grown out so but she hates the regrow so like if I came back to her now and I was like hey can you just do this like not the rest just do this she hates that it drives her crazy and so I was like so why can't you just why can't you just tell them like so it got in more and more and she's like, it drains me. It literally drains me so much. All my, my clients would come back and they'd want like the repeat of stuff and it just drained me. So I'm like, okay, well, if you could just do hair and do complete makeovers for people, like you, so she's, so she had a gift that she sees people and she has a vision and she'll totally do like a makeover on people and they look better than they've ever looked before because she can see that. She's like a total gift with it. But, uh, she didn't like when we would come back and it would be, can you trim my hair or can you do a little bit of like more blonde? Cause now it's grown out. She hated that. And so I was like, okay, so this is all you have to do. You have to find two people who you're going to send clients to. And, um, so she has a sister-in-law and she has a good friend who do hair. And so she gave herself permission to not do the stuff that drains her. She gave herself permission to just say, I'm not doing trims and I'm not doing upkeep. I will do wedding, prom, and complete makeovers. And that's it with hair. The rest, I give it to other people. Like she can't stand it, it drains her. 
So once she had the freedom to say, oh my gosh, this is my niche. This is what I'm really good at. It made her so excited. Like we got to the specifics and she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do hair now. And all of a sudden now she's like, I want to have a salon in my house. And it made her, it completely changed the way she was doing it. But she had to get that specific and she didn't understand that. So it was really cool. And I'm sharing this because I think that we all have things that like will drain us and make us like more tired and like, oh, I don't like this part of it. But then there's certain passions. And for her passion, she also has women open up to her when they're in the chair and like talk to them. So she'll help them through their stuff and then she'll do like a makeover. And it like she, they end up leaving and she's like changed their life. Like it's like completely um, a style that they didn't ever see on themselves and they trusted her. And so she loves like the shock dudes and it gives her energy and passion. She can't stand the rest of hair though. So it's really cool because then she can, um, she can do that side of it and then send the rest to other people. And it will just start growing where people are like, oh, if you want an amazing makeover or if you want, like you want something completely different, but you, you don't have the gift to like see it. So for me, she was like, hey, I have a vision for your hair. Can you like, can you just trust me with this? So she told me about this vision and I was like, okay, let's do it. And we did it. Like, so, and I loved it. Like now I will not go without blonde blonde added to my hair because of what she did to me she was so good at it so whatever you're good at don't be afraid to tell other people no in certain situations like I can't handle this or I can't do this because it just drains me but and once she gave herself permission like I was like I totally help like I could do a lot of different things I've learned energy work I've like I did I was trained in simply healed I was trained in body code um emotion code and those things, and I could totally do them, um, but I'm really, really, really passionate about helping women figure out their purpose in life, like all their purposes, and so that they can hit them, like, because there's not just one, there's several, and when you can add those to your day, it will make your day so much better, and like just recently, I had a friend who was like really depressed and just not feeling well, and um she just is like has depression stuff and a lot of times that can be like clinically like you have you just this is something you get to deal with in life but other times it's they're not doing things for them what makes you feel alive what makes you feel rejuvenated like what is it and for me it's helping women like I love helping women I just love it and but I don't like helping men so guess what that goes half my market I don't care like I really don't care I don't um, understand the psychology of a man the way I do a woman. I am a woman. So so give yourself permission to niche down if you need to and find the specifics. Like what is it that you want to hone in on? What is it that you're really great at, right? And be okay with saying like this is what I'm really great at or no, I'm not really that interested in that. Like be okay with that. Um, I also had... A woman come to me for some marriage stuff recently and by the end she was like oh she could see some of the things that were going on in her marriage that she didn't see like um that she was like talking down to her husband and she was being more masculine and there's just different traits like and then we had put down like this top 10 to 12 uh love language thing and like put them in order and then I sent her home with a bunch of stuff to do with her husband because a lot of times I can't get to everything in that that two hours and so then your your spouse does the same stuff at home and then you can connect it together and it makes your marriage more powerful but how did I know that I was good at those two things right like those two things make me feel alive more so what is it that that drains you with the certain thing you like but then also makes you feel like oh my gosh I love this you can totally hone in on just that part of it and so as so soon as she gave herself permission to tell people like, oh, I have two people I can send you to for those two things. I, I only do the shock do's. I love hair. Um, I love doing wedding hair. I love doing prom hair. I love seeing a vision. And people can even like uh, give her what they like and then she'll come, she'll do it. But she loves the shock effect, like the wow effect. So, I mean, she's cut hair out of her life, completely out of her life. Why? Because she didn't see the specifics 
and she wasn't honing in and allowing herself to say no about certain things and then say yes. You guys look how cute. My nails are so cute, huh? <laughs> These are those Manny nails from my friend sells Manny nails. Uh, those are a bunch of the ones that we handed out at the conference. So anyways, um, that's really all about that. I just wanted, or I thought that was really fascinating that she understood one of her passions. She has several. And the thing is, is we need to be adding our passions into our day to make us feel alive. Like we need to be, um, we need to be, so for me, I love music. Love, 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 love music. So guess what I do? A lot of times I have music playing in the background of my day, whether it's on my TV or my phone. And sometimes it's like fun, happy, like dancing music. And sometimes it's like um, more spiritually in tuned, like Christian bait bass type music like Danny Goki or um any of those type or like Callie Reed or I mean you guys probably don't know those others but like I love like Christian rock music I just love it and so what is it that makes you feel alive and um add that to your day like right now I'm going back in my closet and I'm gonna be um hanging a bunch of clothes up and before I got on here I was listening to relationship stuff all about like um, women being mysterious and adding a little bit of mystery into your marriage because it actually brings some excitement. And when you uh, aren't, aren't just an open book all the time and you're a little bit mysterious, it makes the guy be like, oh, and like curious. So, and not like in a sneaky way, just just in like a um, a fun, like a fun type of way. So anyhow, there you go. I research relationship stuff. So, anyhow, that's really all. Um, today, I wanted to you guys to think about something in your day that makes you feel alive. Oh, the other thing that I'm super passionate about is children. Like, I love children. And um, I just think they're so sweet and innocent. And, like, I could feel them so much more than other people because they, they're just like an open book when you're around them. Like, I just love little children, the innocence of a child. So, um, in finding your, your purpose and your passions in life, I want you to not be afraid to hone in completely like, and sometimes you don't see, like sometimes it's taken me a long time to see my own gifts cause I'm in it. So if you need help with that, then come book a session with me. And if you know it, then don't be afraid to be like, okay, it's just this, or I'm passionate about this. And, um, and I, specialize in this like that's okay you know so anyhow I hope you all have a great day and I hope you're adding your passions and making yourself feel alive and doing things that you absolutely love let me see if I okay let me see I'm sorry I've been ignoring comments because I get so distracted with people that I have to shoot shut it right off so I shut it off okay Emily hi let me see how how are your sessions and what happens during your sessions? So I have a process. Let's see. I have a process that I take women through. I will go and answer back the rest of the comments. I had to exit back off to focus. Um, I have a process that I take women through. And it's it's just a process that I created myself that I took myself through. And I realized how much it worked. And so now I take other women through the same process that I took myself through. So... Um, it's a lot of specific questions. It's, it's a lot of digging deep within yourself. And I take you there. Like I take, I know how to take you there. I've taken myself there. And so, um, for me, the, probably the biggest, most important thing in life is living your sole purpose. And for me, one of my sole purposes, it doesn't always have to be business. You guys, it can be business. It can make you money, but it doesn't always have to, um, that's up to your intention and what you want in life. And what you want to create. But um, probably one of my biggest, biggest passions is motherhood and mother. Being a mother. Like my kids to me, a lot of times even my sessions revolve around my schedule as a mom. Because my kids are so important to me. And being a mother is high, high, high in value for me. That's just me. Like, And I don't... Um, it's just my characteristics and temperament. Like some women are working moms and they're full-time moms and they can juggle like having somebody in their house helping them with that. Like I just can't. And I try to hit a point uh, in motherhood. I try to hit seeing my kids before they left. 
I try to see my kids when they get home. I try to have my kids eat dinner with us. And then I try to see my kids when they go to bed. And I feel like those four times in a child's life are very important. And if women can't do all of them, because I know that there's a lot of working women, don't feel guilty. Um, try to hit two of them. Like, and so that's what matters. Um, so I have a process that I do. And I have it like written out and I ha- I take you through it. So that's something that I keep a little bit maybe mysterious. So, um, so yeah. And then let's see, Sabrina. Hi. Let's see. How much are your sessions? So my sessions are a hundred dollars and it just barely, so it, it depends on you too and how much like self work you've done. I had a woman here Monday and Friday she did, I think hers was about two hours and 15 minutes. Um, and you will leave with a whole list of stuff. Like you will leave knowing a lot, getting a lot of clarity of what, what it is. So let me see what other questions. Um, hi, Heather. Yeah, Emily, send them my way. Hi, Alexandra. Hi, Jessica. Okay, here's the other thing. Um, in living your soul purpose, the best thing... I just lost train of thought. I don't even remember. So, you, But you guys can learn these on your own. Like, It doesn't take somebody else, but sometimes you can't see your own gifts. Sometimes you can't see your own unique traits. And sometimes you have to be taken through like specific questions to be like, oh my gosh. I, you know? And so it just helps you. Um, so I just have taken the process I've taken myself through and even my two sisters through. And then, um, now I do it with other women. There was something I was going to say. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, so it depends on you. Sometimes it's about two hours long and anyhow, so if, if you, whoever sees this, if you reach out to me today, I will give you 10% off, um, if you book today, but I want, I just want you guys to be thinking in general, um, it's okay to niche. Like, um, even my sister, Jessica with photography, she's really good with business sessions, like, uh, like the entrepreneurial side or like the headshots and like business stuff. She's really good at family ones too. She does a lot of families and it, so like sometimes people niche and they, they hone in on something they're really, really good at. So, um, I think that's really all. So just, yeah, just add what, what my message wanted to be today. What I wanted to get on here and tell you today was, so this is what I'm doing. Let me flip my camera around. I can't believe I'm going to show you this mess. You guys, this is my weakness, okay? My husband, I'm not kidding you. He's like color coordinated, so organized, except that, because I just put that down for him. Look at this, that's his. Oh, and then he built these shelves for us. And then these are, this is my side with a bunch of stuff. And this is mine. <laughs> ah! So I'm just working on being more organized in my life. And so my closet's happening right now. I actually had to go to the store to get more hangers. So that's what I'm working on. And as I was sitting here, I got thinking about how right now, this is what I wanted to actually get on and share, what distracted me. See, I'm getting distracted from my closet because I hate doing it. But what I wanted to share with you all is this right here. Um, while I'm doing things I hate, like I hate doing this type of stuff. I have been listening to relationship stuff in the background. I have been listening to music. So then it makes my day better. For me, a passion of mine is music. I love it. It speaks to me. I use it in my Inspire Her um, events, which by the way, Inspire Her tickets are $25 right now. So um, our next event is most likely going to be February 22nd if you're interested in that. And we talk about loving your body, um, finding your soul purpose, And then connecting to your loved ones on the other side. My sister Jen has the gift to connect to the other side. Uh, So anyhow, it will be really good. So um, add your passions to your life and do things in your life that make you feel alive. So if you're like 
And there are days you're just going to have a lower day. Like you're just going to have off days. And especially around the menstrual cycle, just allow yourself to lay there. Like don't judge it. Just allow yourself that. And don't always think like, oh, this is going to be, you know, like, like I'm this and I'm that. Like try not to judge it. Just accept yourself as you are. There are days that like I'm not always chipper and happy. And there's days that I need alone time and to rejuvenate and um, that's okay. So anyhow, hopefully you add your passions to your life and you learn and you keep digging and searching and finding what they are because that will make you live a more, your life more fully. And that's one of my out-of-body experiences was live your life fully. Live your life fully! So anyhow, all right, sounds good. My sisters and I, when we were up at, um, we were up camping as a, for like a family reunion. And when we were up there, my sister Jen's the adventurous one out of all of us. So she's like, let's go jump off the cliffs. So we get in kayaks and we crawl across, we, we go across the lake. We're all paddling and um, we get to the other side and we're like ready to jump. And we're like, you live your life fully as we jump. <laughs> it was so fun. So yes, live your life fully and have a great day. Add, put music in your life. Music is a must. Like, just turn it on in the background and while you do the dishes. Because us women, we have a lot of things to get done. And do all the time. And so, you might as well not make a task so daunting. Or listen to a podcast. That's another thing. Um, music or a podcast. Learning. Like, so, anyhow. Alright, I hope you all have a great day. Okay, bye.